So, omalizumab is a biological medicine and it is an anti-IgE antibody. So, what omalizumab does is that it binds to the IgE antibody which is responsible for the allergy responses and hence it reduces the binding of the IgE antibody to the IgE receptor and that in turn leads to reduction in the inflammatory process. Umalizumab is used in two conditions in children. The most common condition is severe asthma which is not well controlled with the usual doses of inhaled corticosteroids, long-acting beta agonist and long-acting muscarinic antagonist. The other situation where omalizumab is now used and approved is treatment of urticaria which is not well responsive to the usual doses of antihistamines. In children who have severe asthma, omalizumab has shown to reduce hospital admissions, the number of exacerbations of flares, the use of oral corticosteroids and it has shown to improve lung function. Omalizumab is usually given in the form of a subcutaneous injection which might be required every two to four weeks depending on the weight of the child and the pre-treatment serum IgE levels. Now, once the treatment is started, it is usually given over a period of two to three years. Omalizumab is quite an effective medicine and it is quite safe. The side effects are very minimal and they can be in the form of some pain or redness at the local site of injection. Any serious adverse effects in the form of a severe allergy reaction or also known as anaphylaxis is extremely rare in clinical practice. So in case your child is having asthma which is poorly controlled or urticaria which does not respond to antihistamine medicines, do meet a pediatric allergy specialist, get a proper evaluation done. The child might require further medicines in the form of a medicine. Thank you.